summertime and the living ain't easy. Oh, hi! So, it's mid-May. It is, well, it's supposed to be summer. If you live in Atlantic Canada like I do, um, someone forgot to inform Mother Nature. But, it is technically summer, which means summer job time, full-time employment, and, and sun, and beach, and warm, and money, and rolling in it, and fun. Yes, yes, these are the things that are summer. Um, unfortunately, this is not the case for me right now. Okay, so there's not much that I can really do about the weather situation. And um, as much as I hate it, I'm not going to sit here and bitch about the weather. But what I will talk about is summer employment and summer jobs. Now, I have been, um, you know, a student for a really long time, which means that, you know, by now, uh, I'm pretty used to school ends, find a summer job, school ends, find a summer job. I'm not, I'm not really a noob in this department. However, I am still, after almost a month of looking, unemployed. So, I figured that with my expertise, I would make a video on how to not get a summer job. Step one, be awesome. You know, you want to have some really killer references, should they call them. And um, you want to ha make sure that on your resume, the jobs that you've listed kind of, you know, go with what you're applying for. You want to showcase your experience and have someone else look over your resume and see if what they have to say. Look at online ones. Just make sure that your resume is really awesome. And thirdly, when you apply, you want to stand out. So make sure that you write either a cover letter, an email, or something other than just giving them your resume because that's awesome. Also, you want to be really good at things. You want to be really good to people. You want to be a fast learner, work quickly, work with a smile, really friendly and outgoing, and um, just generally super competent. Do all of those things, and that is step one. Step two, be flexible. You want to make sure that employers know that you're able to work evenings, weekends, days, that you're, you know, willing to travel within reason, that you're immediately available, that you're open to negotiating a salary. Um, you want to be as flexible as possible and that is step two. Step tres. Apply, apply, apply. From my recent experience, the most surefire way of not getting a job is to apply to as many as possible. The more people that have your resume, that know you're willing to work, flexible, outgoing, competent, all of these things, the less of a chance that you're going to get a call. So I recommend looking at federal job board websites, um, local job board websites, even classifieds for ads. Uh, just, just, you know, Google, Google, Google if you must. Um, even some of your favorite places. Go on their website. Look at their career section. Are they hiring? Look at the mall websites. Look up restaurants nearby. Just search, search, search and apply, apply, apply for everything. And like I said, make sure you use a resume and a cover letter or an email or something and um, be awesome and flexible. Do all of these things. And, I mean, I can't make any guarantees, but from my recent experience, this is the surest way to not get a call back. Yeah? Okay. In any case, this has been Bitching Hour with Meg. It's been really fantastic talking to you, and I hope you'll tune in next time to hear Meg bitch about skinny people who can eat whatever the fuck they want. Until next time, so long.